So I press menu. I press dash. The calculator is asking me simultaneous equations or polynomials. I am done with simultaneous equations. I am now concentrating on polynomials. So I press two. I hope all of you know that polynomials means equations with two or more power, power two or higher powers. That is, a uh, cubic equations or quadratic equations and so on. So let's begin with a uh, two. That is a quadratic equation. So, what can you solve in this particular mode? You can solve quadratic equations. You can solve cubic equations. You can find the roots. You can find the turning points, and you can determine the nature of the turning points, whether they are minimum or maximum. So, all those people who are familiar with quadratic equations are aware of the fact that in order to solve quadratic equations, we have multiple methods. We can solve it through factorization. Or we can solve it through quadratic formula, or we can solve it through completing the square method, or we can solve it through graphical method. And all these methods do take a certain amount of time. And there are certain equations which through which cannot be solved through a particular method, but another method is applicable. So in order to check whether you have solved the quadratic equation appropriately and accurately. You can use the calculator as a verification tool. Similarly, uh, those who have used quadratic equations are also aware of the fact that to find the turning point is a time-consuming task. You need to uh, solve a particular set of equations to identify the x-coordinate of turning point and the y-coordinate of turning point. So all these things are automatically solved in the calculator. All you need to do is insert the equation. So I will insert one equation, and you will see the equation is x square plus seven x minus twenty eight is equal to zero. All those who are familiar with quadratic equations will realize that you cannot solve this particular equation using factorization method. So you either need to apply the quadratic formula, or you need to apply the completing the square method. But For calculator, there are no such restrictions. All you need to do is insert this particular equation. X square means one x square. One is equals to seven x is seven is equals to minus twenty eight is equals to. So if you realize, the screen shows one x square plus seven x minus twenty eight. Agreed? And now. When I press is equals to, the calculator will give me the first solution in exact form. That is minus seven plus under root one sixty one upon two. If I wish to find the solution in decimal, I don't want the solution in the form of root. Instead, I wish to have the solution in the form of decimal. All I need to do is press this button. Can you all see S D? This S D means From scientific notation to decimal form, so when I press this, automatically the calculator will convert it in the form 2.844. If I press this again, it will once again be in the exact form. So sometimes you are supposed to answer questions in exact forms, and sometimes you are supposed to answer questions in uh, decimal form. So you can easily find whatever you need to find. If you press is equals to again. You will get the second root. The second root is minus seven minus root one sixty one upon two. But once again, you wish to find the decimal form of this. So the decimal form of this is minus nine point eight four four, just with the help of a button. So usually, you only get these two solutions. Once again, if uh, someone has older version of Casio calculator, not the class wise version. your solution will only be restricted to the two answers but in this particular calculator if i press is equals to again the calculator will tell me that the minimum function which means that this particular function is a minimum function it has a minimum turning point and x coordinate of the turning point is minus 7 upon 2 if i press is equals to again i will get the y coordinate of turning point Which is minus one sixty one upon four. 
which means that just by putting the equation into the calculator i managed to find five things i managed to find the x intercept the two x intercepts i managed to find the x coordinate of turning point the y coordinate of turning point and the nature of the turning point that it is maximum or minimum if i wish to generate qr code i will press shift and option the qr code will be generated and once i will read this qr code through the smartphone i will get this particular graph x square plus 7x minus 28 is equal to 0 this is the first solution this is the second solution this is the minimum point of x this is the minimum point of y and i have shown through a through a pictorial notation that how we can generate the qr code and how we can uh, read the qr code and how the graph will look like i hope this is clear all right so the next screen these are two questions on your screen uh, please realize that the first question is in an order that is not acceptable for the calculator for calculator the first term has to be x square the second term has to be x the third term has to be a constant whereas the question is in the form that first there is a constant then there is a variable with power 1 and then there is a squared variable so my advice to students is always convert this in the form ax square plus bx plus c and the hint is already given by the calculator it says please write it in this form ax square plus bx plus c so a is minus 3 is equals to b is minus 4 is equals to c is 4 is equals to and now when i will press is equals to i will get the first root when i press is equals to i get the second root when i press is equals to again i get the x coordinate of turning point and when i press is equals to again i will get the y coordinate of turning point so in reality after putting into the equation after putting the equation into the calculator all i need to do is press is equals to i am doing nothing except pressing the equals to sign the calculator will solve the equation will give the first root as on your screens i'll press is equals to again will give the second root as on your screens i'll press is equals to again it gave me the x coordinate of turning point and has also identified that it is a maximum point and i press is equals to again it gave me the y coordinate of turning point indicating it's a maximum turning point if you want you can once again obtain the qr code shift and option you scan the qr code so see this shows x1 is 2 upon 3 second root is minus 2 third root is minus 2 upon uh, sorry the uh, the x coordinate of turning point is a maximum point minus 2 upon 3 y coordinate of turning point is a maximum point 16 upon 3 and this is the visualization of the graph the graph is like this these are the two x intercepts and this is the turning point i hope this is clear to all of you i mean uh, i will move on to the next question the next question is 3x square plus 10x plus 8 is equals to zero. So I will solve this particular question. I will first clear the screen. Then there is 3 is equals to 10 is equals to 8 is equals to. And when I press is equals to, the first root is minus 4 upon 3. The second root is minus 2. and when i press is equals to again it gave me the x coordinate of turning point indicating that it's a minimum turning point and when i press is equals to again it gave me y coordinate of turning point indicating that the y coordinate of turning point is a minimum turning point which is minus 1 upon 3 so once again all i did was i inserted the relevant equation into the calculator and i pressed equals to i got the first solution i pressed equals to again i got the second solution 
I pressed equals to for the third time. I identified that it's a minimum curve with x coordinate of turning point as minus five upon three. And when I press is equals to again, it gave me y coordinate of turning point, which is minus one upon three. Uh, one more uh, technique or trick that is applicable. Uh, all those people who are familiar with quadratic equations are also aware of the fact that quadratic curves are parabolas. and the quadratic curves are symmetrical in nature and the equation of line of symmetry of a parabola is x coordinate of the turning point so when i press equals to for the third time the minimum point that i am achieving the x coordinate of turning point this is also the line of equation of line of symmetry so the equation of line of symmetry of this particular parabola is x is equal to minus 5 upon 3 so when you solve quadratic equation through this particular calculator you not only get the x intercepts the two x intercepts you also get the equation of line of symmetry you also get the minimum turning or maximum turning points you also know the nature of the roots and you get both the x and y coordinates of turning point so once again as a verification tool or a, for validation purposes it's a very helpful technique i mean if you want to ensure that the solution that you have done is correct it will hardly take 30 seconds for you to verify your answer but see the confidence level that you will get in exams when you know that the solution you have done is absolutely correct so as far as verification is concerned it's an amazing tool but if you tell me that what if i do not do any workings and just give the answers then you will get the marks for correct answer only but you might lose marks for the workings if that particular question has allotted marks for the workings but if that particular question has no allotted marks for the workings then no issues whatsoever you can just write the answers but once again please remember the calculator is just a tool to verify and validate answers it is not a substitute for you to stop doing the workings all together no i would strongly like recommend that you are well versed with the long solutions that you do manually and you are also well versed with the usage of calculator calculator's usage is important but you should know the background of bringing these values also so that way you will have the confidence in what you are doing uh furthermore uh, in the future episodes of series of the workshops that we'll be doing uh what i will do i will tell you to solve some questions manually and note the time that you are taking to solve a particular set of question and then we'll solve that with a calculator and i'll teach you how much time saving technique there is involved when you use the calculator but only when you are verifying the answers and only when the marks are not allotted for the workings but if the marks are allotted for the workings you should be well versed with how to solve the lengthy calculations also i hope this uh, clarifies things so the qr code if i generate qr code for this particular question and if you scan it you will see that this is the solution the first root is minus 4 upon 3 the second root is minus 2 you can verify it through the calculator also at the same time so you realize that uh the same answers are being achieved see x1 is x1 is minus 4 upon 3 you can verify that x2 i press is equal to again is minus 2 i press equals to again minimum value of x is minus 5 upon 3 i press equals to again and y coordinate of the turning point is minus 1 upon 3 i hope this is clear to all of you